Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. The 100k challenge, which is the super cold map. And let's zoom out here and check out kind of how things are going. Uh, temperature. We've got our base here. It's a pretty nice warm green yellow temperature. And our hot water tank is pretty warm. And the oil biome is warm, but other than that, things are still pretty frozen. And the regolith area at the top. So this episode, I want to take on more dupes because we got lots of food and we're expanding our hatch population. So I'm going to try to get up to 20 dupes and then we'll see how things go. We're also at almost at cycle 200 here. Last episode, we got into some oil refining and we're going to be doing more of that because I need lots of plastic to build tubes all over the place. So we'll be doing that and also scaling up some dupes, uh, getting into more oil here. Maybe build a slickster farm for these guys. So lots to do. I also want to warm up this new level of the base here. This area here, it's too cold for hatch hatches. They like it to be, let's see, uh, minus 30 is kind of their, where they, I think they start to die. And right now it's minus 120 in here. So I think they might actually start dying on us. Um, I might actually want to move some back down into this room. We could actually put hatch farms in here, but this was going to be all electricity, so I'll save that. So in order to warm up this block here, uh, I'm thinking of doing another hot water tank here. And just fill her up and then do something similar to this uh, liquid tepidizer. Or we could just extend our our heating loops and uh, run this a little bit more often. That might actually be easier to do now that I think about it. I think we need some more water up here though. Um, let's just see, how is this going? Let's speed up things first. Yeah, I think it'd probably be safe to start... Actually, the reason I don't want to do that <laughs> is because this is so cold up here that anything going through a pipe might freeze before we can actually get her done. So that's kind of the reason I wanted to do another tank. Yeah, by the time the water got all the way around through here, I think it might actually freeze. So that's kind of why I'm thinking of a second tank, at, at least until we get things warmed up. We need, to, we need to pick the new top of the base though, or we'll have to continually uh, move things up. I do want to put in a lot of hatches. Uh, we do have a room over here as well, but this might be for bedrooms and stuff. So, how how high should we go and where should we cut it off? We could go like all the way up to here. That's probably a little bit crazy. Maybe we'll cut it off right here for now. So we'll kind of map out the floors here. Uh, with four in between each. Actually, this geyser's in the way of our base. Hmm. But I guess we'll just have to deal with that. We might have some odd rooms going on. Okay, that might be good for now, because we are, we are going to have room on the left here as well. So this is going to be a big task. Uh, igneous rock... Let's just get that planned out. Uh, dig this out. We do have the super hot geyser here, which is dormant at the moment. We should actually uh, analyze this while it's dormant, just to see what's going on in there. And then we're gonna have the insulated stuff go up this way. Now, the reason I'm only doing part of this right now is because I want them to be able to get in from the left. Same with this side. Well, we'll do this. Actually, let's just see here. We'll, we'll leave room here. Let's get the floors mapped out. It won't take them that long to build, I don't think. Yeah, 
And I, I should have used blueprints for this. <laughs> uh, I will probably use blueprints for the internal... The internal part of the ranch, though. I actually should have used one right from the beginning. Even though I'm replicating this error. <laughs> what I would consider an error. We'll have to figure out what to do in this space here. Yeah, so I'm a little bit worried these guys are going to freeze, so what I'm going to do here is auto-wrangle four. And hopefully they'll get removed, moved back down into here where they can have seven. Right now they got three. Someone mentioned that these guys here, the shovel, once they hatch, they're going to like, they're going to escape. Uh, so I need to kind of enclose these guys in metal if I'm going to get their eggs going in here. Might need a little area for that. The other issue that I noticed was down here. This thing broke. And this is because the water coming out of here is too hot and it's turning into a gas. So I have to change this up a bit. Let's cut that off for now. I think the water coming out is like Oh, too hot. Okay, so that's taken care of. Um, let's repair that. I think what I'll do is I'll cool this area over here. Let's do granite floor here. Move this up here, maybe. Let's see what temperature it's coming out at. We probably won't be able to see. Let's turn, turn steel off for now. So the idea is to cool the water. Cool the water here before it gets to the iron. So we'll go, we don't want insulated, we want regular granite. Branching off here. Cool. And let's bring it around this way. Bridge over. And then plunker in there. And that should be cool enough. A lot of you have mentioned to put these radiant pipes through floors instead of the air. So I guess uh, we partially did that here. I'm going to put a bridge here. Because I like bridges. I might dump the salt water out of here. Salt water, 140 degrees. Uh, deep storage. That's gonna end up all over the all, all over the place. Uh, I think I need to. Hmm. Is it cooling down in there on its own? 104. Let's get that pipe repaired. Whoa, we're getting a mix. Where are we getting a mix from? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's mostly clean water in here. Okay, 28 degrees. Okay, that's much better. That's what we want. Well, we can't let it sit in there too long, or it's gonna freeze. Hmm, look at it cool down so rapidly. Oh, crap. Cool damage already. <laughs> uh, jeez. Uh, okay. Hmm. We're gonna have to insulate this area and let it warm up. That didn't last very long. I thought it would, uh... thought it would last, but it did not. Saltwater at 104. You know what? 
let's just empty the storage. <laughs> and just let it... Actually, you know what? Forget that. Let's just move this thing over. Now I... Oops. Ah, that was probably a mistake. <laughs> It'll all freeze, though. But at least we got rid of some of that water. Okay, we gotta rethink this. Uh, we can't let it sit in the pipe too long. So, let's put it in... Put it in some storage. This should be insulated this one a little bit here. So liquid storage. Here. And really this should be insulated because we're going to warm up this room. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I just need to make the loop a little bit shorter. If we do put it in here though... And then make the last little bit insulated. Trial and error, folks. That's what this is all about. So insulate the last little bit. And then hope this doesn't get too crazy here. It's just too darn cold here. Maybe we move it down here will be a little bit better. I don't know. New printables are available. Let's see. Oh, barbecue. Uh, I want dupes. Uh, we got lots of food, so... Ooh, I'm so tempted to take that, but we've got almost a million food. Who's the best here? Germ resistance. We don't care too much. Squeamish. Machinery. Uh, let's get a quick learner. Trivaldo, welcome. And let's rebuild that. I don't know. I don't think this is going to work yet, but <laughs> we shall try. So we'll insulate that all the way to there, and then output pipe. Yeah, insulated. And a bridge. Which we don't want a bridge there. What's the temperature of this pipe? Minus 97. That water's not going to last very long, is it? <laughs> it's going to freeze almost instantly. 48. 45. I got to make sure the... Okay, let's see here. It's eventually going to back up. So what we really need here is a switch. Uh, let's do a hmm, shutoff valve here. Which we'll control with a switch for now. I'm going to put a bridge. Oh, actually, I don't need a bridge on the end of that. Okay, shutoff switch. Quick shut off. Can't build it there. We can stick it in there. So we'll branch off here and then head up that way. And put that on a switch. can make this a bit smarter but I just want to kind of play it by ear here first uh, that goes there this needs power what's our coolant at 27 should be safe
We could actually check coolant temperature before we chuck it in here. And a lot of you mentioned uh, an idea for the CO2, or at least some of you did. I want to get rid of this overheated battery first because this is driving me nuts. Let's get in there. I, I hate having warnings that aren't real. I wish they'd fix this part of the game where these things weren't automatically getting broken. I feel like we just had a cycle end. What happened there? Okay, let's kill this so we stop getting those warnings. And maybe destroy this checkpoint. And that's going to be a problem longer term before we... We'll have to seal it back up before we release all this oil here. While we get ready for that, let's do a little bit of exploring to the side here. And we might as well use this brain upgrader. Actually, who's close? Oh, here comes Ada. Perfect. Get in there. And don't forget about her. Okay, Jean shuffled. What do we get? Uh, beefsteak. Ooh, okay. Like that. Let's seal this back up. Got another sixter we can free in there. Uh, I think it's safe to go here. This might break, but that's okay. It'll flow down and down and down into here. And let's turn that pump back on. I want to get more plastic going. Oh, we've already used up all our oil. Okay. Flip the switch. Get the oil going. Now I'm going to actually put some insulated tile here. Right here, here, here. That should help a little bit with the uh, potential freezing there. And let's continue that on. We'll get two of these going. And we'll get two of these going. Lots of plastic. And maybe even get three of them going. Because more plastic is more is more better. Actually, what's the wattage on here? 2,000, okay. E kind of hitting the limits here. But we could bring this heavy watt wire down. And just heavy watt wire everything. That's probably going to be good enough right now. So let's connect that in. Oh, that might merge. Let's, uh, do it this way. Oh, it has to be insulated. Oops. Now, I think we're getting away with this because the packets are so, so, so small. Oh, carbon dioxide at 100 degrees. Okay. Never mind. It's insulated, so it's all good. We could send that down to the Slicksters. It's going to eventually make its way down there. And we want all this fossil in here. So let's start grabbing that. How much CO2 do we have in here? 13 kilograms. Well, they'll be, uh, they'll be well fed for a very long time. I do want to let some of this oil out. I'm a little bit worried they'll get stuck, they'll drown, but let's try it. All that will end up down here. I think we need to make some more room for it. Let's build here. Oh, 
Drowning. Drowning. Oh no. Okay, I don't want them to drown. Let's plug it back up. And this is not level. Let's uh, fix that. They might not be able to build that. And we've got this ice core down here, which we'll use someday. And there's some kind of geyser in there. We'll have to get in there eventually, but not just yet. Okay, we're just dumping all that extra power we get from the natural gas into here for now. And the level should stay down here. It shouldn't puff its way up to the top, in theory. Babies. <laughs> okay, that's the level. Let's start strip mining this down. Get that fossil while we're at it. And let's get up here. Up and over. I want to see what's over here. And we got to deal with this water. Um, but I want to start building my tube system. So let's do that. Uh, we'll probably launch them from... I don't know, let's get it started here. We can add more later here. How much plastic do we have? 2,500. Let's get this going. Priority 6 is probably good. Goes pretty fast. That'll keep him busy. Let's make sure we're chewing through this gas fast enough. I think we're good. Sending in... Oh, what was... Okay, this is cold CO2. This is hot CO2. I think we can probably merge these now safely and they won't get too cold. Yeah, let's do that. Let's kill that. Kill that. And hope we can do this. Should be good. Keep that CO2 out of there. Feed it all to those sixters. New printables. What do we got? Uh, directlet or or dupes? Uh, small bladder, quick learner, digger. Yeah, Turner. Turner, welcome. Let's get some skills into these dupes. Hard digging. Yes, please. Uh, I'm off screen here. Okay. Uh, Travaldo, you can do. We have so many ranchers that. I'm going to do digging. We're going to need more ranchers eventually, but... Okay. Ada's... Ada's... Ada... Her morale requirements are... Our actual morale is quite low. To deal with that. Our plumber can be a carrier, I think. Bonnie, you're doing farming. It's fine. Better carrying. Oh, mechatronics. Yes, that's good. When I did my 100 dupe challenge, I should probably link to that in this video, but uh, this part got really tedious. As you can imagine, managing the skills for 100 dupes. Oh my gosh. Not fun. More strength never hurts. Uh, exosuit, okay. Yeah, it's probably good for now. I did want to build a, a rec room. But we were going to build something up here. Let's complete that. But before I forget, as I'm continually distracted, we're going to do a... What is it called? A... Um, automatic dispenser. Is that what I want? That's going to require power. Uh, uh, I thought there was a manual version. But an automatic dispenser here to drop off CO2, which will 
drop on the ground and it should just disappear. Doesn't like to be there. Does it have to be on some tiles? And power. Uh, 600 watts on this line. We can safely go up here for now. We could probably convert all this stuff to heavy watt wire, but this is going to be cheaper. So we'll do that. So we'll dump CO2 in here. Dump it on the ground, and it should just... What's in the vacuum? It is not going to melt and disappear. <laughs> I just realized. We need some heat conduction from this stuff to do it. Maybe I'll go up a bit more. My vent's in the way. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, dump the CO2. Will it conduct heat in here? Minus 38. They don't like it up there. There's no air up there. Let's improve the airflow a bit here. Okay, while they're doing that, we'll uh, do something else here. We we're going to heat this area up. And we're going to build a tank here. So... I think I'll have a, a way into the tank here. And then I have to put a door here to keep this as a wrench. And then we'll have to seal this up. Probably should use igneous rock here. And then we'll fill this with water. Let's get a, whatchamacallit ready, liquid tepidizer. That's not in line with the other one, so let's... Let's make it uh, line up, even though it's probably not centered. Okay, let's seal this up. Oh, they haven't done this yet. How much power do we have on this line? 900. Plus... 960? Oh, we'll just be... Uh, you know what, I want another circuit just for this. So let's build another one here. And we'll go up through, through this floor. Yeah, we want it to go through the floor. It's a bit tidier. Okay, they have a way in now, so let's uh, seal this up. Oh, we'll let them build it and then we'll seal it up. But let's get the water pipe ready. This all has to be insulated, so let's do that. Insulated igneous rock, all this here. And we're going to continue up. Let's get rid of this here. Continue up in a straight line. And we're going to dump it. In here. I'll stick a bridge here because later on I'll want to turn it off and that's my cheap way of turning something off. We'll put the vent on once we're ready. Not quite ready yet. That should have power once it's all connected. No power connected. It is connected to our backbone. What's going on there? Maybe it means the other side? Oh, it's not fully connected there. Okay. 
Get her done. Let's get some slime. Just because. How oh, my hatch is doing? Cramped. Uh, what are you doing up here? You got away. <laughs> Let's get him stored away properly. He's drowning. Oh my gosh. He's in an infinite loop of misery. Okay, we were going to do a door here. That's why I was destroying that tile and then I forgot about it. I think we can start putting the water in pretty soon here. Should probably get all this crap out of here first. Let's at the moment put uh oh it has to be it has to be outside the base. You know what? Let's stick it let's stick it out here. Oops, right here. It's closer. They are taking that carbon dioxide. Uh... It should really be going up here. Which I didn't finish. Uh, let's put that... Let's get up into this warm area here. Without piercing the, the veil here. And then... Doing a dispenser right here. Right there. Into the hot area. And then it should just vaporize. And then we'll get rid of all that CO2 up here. I should switch this airlock out. Let's do that. Get a fast one going. Minor adjustments. Okay. This is almost ready. We are going to put the quantifiable CO2 priority 7. And that should work. I haven't looked at my shifts in a while. Let's fix that. Things are getting a little bit crowded. I had no schedule here. And I shouldn't really be naming these. This will be one. This will be two. Three. Four. And then we want to offset these. From this one. So, downtime starting here. Three bedtime, one bath time. And we'll stick four dupes down and schedule four. Four, three, four, four. Okay. I think we're out of beds too. I haven't looked at beds in a while. I've been ne neglecting my dupes. Okay, let's get rid of those CO2 canisters here so that all the CO2 makes its way up the top. Something is breaking. The oxygen is liquefying? No. Oh, it probably grabbed some CO2 by mistake. 
and it turned into a liquid. Yeah, okay. Hmm. We'll allow it. <laughs> Another dupe already, okay. What do we got here? Um, got a doctor who loves to eat. Night Owl, Gourmet. Yeah, let's get a doctor, why not? And let's add some bed beds. I've got uh, way too many beds or tubes now. Let's. I should use my blueprints here. Um, we can put them in the chill for now. It's not too difficult to build these, so we'll just do it without a blueprint. Out of granite. Make sure it's lined up. We'll eventually put paintings in here. And I do have a door here, it's kind of strange, but someday we might expand to the left and I want to be ready for it. We'll stick with a double door here. And we'll get ready here. Oh, priority nine, that was a bit much. It is kind of important because uh, they have nowhere to sleep right now. Carve that out. Oh. Oops. Is that all CO2? Yep. And I really need to make this thing up top sweep only. Otherwise, they're going to be running up there all the time. Okay. Looks good. Let's set up another critter ranch here. I'm going to start feeding them something different here. We're going to feed them sedimentary rock because I want stone hatches. Dead of sandstone. Oops, I just messed that up. <laughs> we'll fix that. Shovel. Regolith. And Volpops as well. So sedimentary rock all around. Oh, escapee. <laughs> Where is he? Get him. <laughs> okay, I think I gotta stop incubating these guys here. These guys are still cramped. Okay, let's open up this bedroom. It's ready for business. How much reed fiber do I have now? Can we do paintings? One reed fiber. Okay, let's do maybe hanging arrow pots require diamond. Oh, we could do that. Decor plus 10. Yeah, we could do that. I kind of like the look of these too. Let's do 
We'll sprinkle a few of these in here. They're almost spam them in, but for now. We'll sprinkle them in. We've got idle dupes here. Surprising. So much to do. And I think I'll make this my insulating area, area for now, just because it's... Just because it's already done. We're not going to grow food in here. Expansion continues. A million calories. Okay, let's start putting some water in here. Oh, they're still picking some crap up. Nowhere for this to go. Okay, let's build an infinite storage. Or we could actually just put it here for now, since it's much closer. But I will build an infinite storage at some point here. Let's crack this back open. It'll make it a bit faster. Priority 7 for now. Oh, and I need a temperature sensor here. Insufficient oxygen generation. I guess it's possible. I forget how many this, uh, how many dupes this gives. I think it's around 20. Can't remember exactly though. Oh, we got chlorine. Okay, how did this turn out? Um, I didn't reconnect it. We have a shutoff valve, no power. And they got the tube built. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> uh, we probably have more plastic by now. Oh, we got tons now. Okay. Good. Good. I'm going to put little drop-off points here. Right there. Actually, we need to put an entry point here. Actually, the fire pole is probably faster, but sometimes it'll be faster for them to use this, so... We'll do that. We need power for that. And let's look at them crawling. Oh, it's so funny. Let's continue this down here all the way. Actually, we can dump them right there. We can also dump them right here. I think we can shoot them out right there. It's getting pretty warm in here. It's good. This thing's at 66 degrees. Let's spread that heat out a bit. Temp shift plate out of diamond, maybe. Right here and here. And this is going to become an issue, so we got to get this up into our top tank. So, uh, let's finish the tube first, one thing at a time. Oh, we need a tube access here as well. We can probably chuck it in this little corner. Can I stick it there? Oh. Hmm. We could stick it down here. That's insulated. Or we could stick it over here. Make a little bend. Let's do that. Okay. 
Can't cross the letter. I'll have to take a letter out there. Ah, come on. <laughs> there we go. We can jump in there, we need power here though. I think I'm gonna abandon my transformer here and just go with heavy watt wire everywhere. And just forget the decor hit. Just let him suffer. Maybe. I kinda want this to be in a straight line. It's kind of out of the way now, but not really. I could build a service tunnel down here. And leave the wire in, it's not really hurting anything. So, heavy wet wire. Actually, we gotta replace all this with heavy wet wire. Hmm. Or do another transformer. Let's check the decor here. Uh oh. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Terrible, uh, but not too bad in the work area. Oh, I need a light. We need a light here. I didn't really leave room for the light. Unless we can sneak it in here. No. I'd have to move this over. Or can we stick a light here? I'll cover that one. I have to move everything over one. I forgot about the light. Gosh. Hmm. Oh, everything's backed up. This is why they can't do anything. <laughs> And I messed this up here. Okay, for now, I'm gonna... Uh, that wire has to go all the way down there. Arg. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bridge. Bring the heavy watt wire down. Just be done with it. Okay, heavy watt wire, you're coming down here. Priority six should work. Got liquid chlorine. Getting into the oil supply. Hmm. I think it's gasifying though. We need more petroleum storage. Where should I stick it? Probably here is easier. Can we go in this hot area? Uh, probably not a good idea. I should really move the sensor down one. But it might get trapped, CO2 trapped in there, so that's probably okay where it is. Oh, we got salt water in here. That's not good. How much water is there? Only a tiny little bit. Okay, we can, we can deal with that. Clean up on aisle seven. here instead. I 
I don't want any, don't want no brine in my oil. Frankie, what are we going to do with you? Get you to exosuits as fast as possible. <laughs> oh yeah, look at them go. <laughs> oh, there's something pleasing about what is happening here. Did I never connect this or did this get destroyed? Somehow. What? Ah! Uh, I forgot to shut it off. Okay. <laughs> that should be fixed in a second. Once we start making steel. Good way to destroy granite. I'll tell you. Here we got new printables. Ooh, lime. We'll take that. It's actually super lucky. How are we doing for steel here? Got lots of... A decent amount of iron. Fine carbon, lots. Lime, lots. Let's do 99 iron as well. 99 bottles of iron on the wall. Oh god. What have I done? Making a total mess here. Oh, well, that'll take care of itself any any moment. <laughs> Is this actually coming out too hot? Salt water at 113. What the hell? Can we not make steel with this? Maybe I'll just have to use oil. What's the temperature increase here? I forget. Uh, 57 degrees. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So this has to go in at like... Well, 40. What's going in at? 40. Ah, jeez. Hmm. Could put it through an aqua tuner. Uh -huh. um, that would be kind of funny considering all this coldness we have. Oil. Could we use oil for our cooling? Let's see. The boiling point of oil is. that. 400. So, if we use the oil here and then put it through an aqua tuner that sits in here. <laughs> uh, if we do a cooling loop, we'll have the same issue. It might freeze. How do I usually do this? I think I used petroleum before. I heated the petroleum up and then I burned it off. Maybe that is the way to go. Well, for now, we'll just make oil, I mean, uh, iron. And we'll come back to that. Although, well, at least we got a tube in. Turner, 
You're so slow. Yeah, we shouldn't let these dupes out of the base, but... Because they're so damn slow. But eventually I'll get every dupe in exosuits, I think. Okay, let's hook this up. This should go... Here. Here. Up and around. Priority 9? Okay. Why not? Petroleum boils at uh, 538. Could use petroleum up there. You know what, that's not a bad idea. If we can get the petroleum up to the top without it freezing. Petroleum. Minus 57. We could, let's just do this. We're, we're gonna need this anyway. Well, we could do our metal refining down here, actually, even though it's so far away from the base. But I kind of want to do my power generation up here. Got to think about this. I might have to retire this and put it down here. So yeah, do metal refining here. Burn off the hot petroleum. And create water in the process. We got our grid here, so we could put a two, three, four. Yeah, we can put power generation wherever we want, actually. So I'm thinking, pretty random here, but I'm thinking burn off the petroleum here. And collect the water beneath. Are you stuck? So yeah, hot petroleum up here, power generation, petroleum generator makes a bunch of CO2, polluted water, which we'll, we'll like, some heat, if we stick this up here, Now, it'll just be ice coming out initially, but eventually it'll warm up. We'll make this bottom part a tank. I should use insulated, otherwise that it'll freeze, but I don't care if it freezes initially. And then we'll seal this up. And have a source of polluted water. Polluted ice. Soon to be polluted water. This is like... <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> um, we could dump it down here. Let's do that. I don't know why I didn't do that before. It could get mixed with oil though.
could just do this. We'll delay the problem until to another time. Oh, actually, that gets into the warm water there. That's okay. That's a bit light. That's fine. Okay, heavy wire. And our insulated pipe. Let's get that going. Insulated, igneous rock, priority six. That's gonna come down from here and up here. And I don't want it sitting in the pipe too long. So what do we wanna do here? Do we wanna send it directly in? Shut up, Al, maybe. Or do we risk it? We probably just want to burn it off. But we won't be able to burn it off fast enough. And things are breaking. CO2. This area will warm up someday. We got natural gas kind of building up here, which I don't like. I don't want it to get too high. Maybe we'll bring this up a bit. What is flowing down here? Oh, CO2. It's raining CO2. <laughs> I'll tell you, this whole everything freezing has some uh, trickery to it. Okay, I kind of want to build a giant petroleum storage area, so let's do that right above. Because if we do rockets, we're going to need tons of petroleum. So why not? I always end up doing this anyway. So. Copper's probably fine. Why not? We can do it. We have the technology. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Probably want to insulate this room actually. Because eventually it may freeze solid in here. Down here. In there. That's a lot of work. said I wanted to insulate that, so let's insulate it. I kind of want this to act as a heat sink for as long as it can. Sixters are eating up some of that CO2, I think. It's pressure's going down. Kind of want to free the ones that are out here, so let's get this guy out. A bit of natural gas in there. Got to get these guys out of here too. Liberate them. The 
Probably never going to... Oh, they might use this one. It's raining CO2. We don't even have to burn this off. We could just store it. And for now, that's actually what I'm gonna do. We'll just store it. But it might freeze solid. Hmm. Could burn it off until we generate enough heat in here. Guess we better get them to finish this first before we get carried away here. And we can crank the parties of these back up to six, I think. Oh, I forgot I forgot the main reason I was going to do this. It was to take the petroleum and heat it up and then burn it off without this overheating. We might have to make this out of steel, actually. It's all coming to me now. So, metal refining. This will be our steel production. We'll leave a little bit of room here. Make this out of... I guess it doesn't really matter, but obsidian, maybe. Do it over here. Okay, petroleum in. Hot petroleum out. Burn it off. There we go. This is what I wanted to do. And what do we got here? Oh, a pip. Um, noodle arms can't build. And, like I said, we need more beds, I think. How many beds do we have? Okay, we're good for beds. My salt is just about full. It can be much bigger, so let's extend this. One twenty. Another 99. Actually, we don't need refined carbon. We do need ceramic, though. Let's make another 99 of that. How are we doing for coal? Oh. Sixteen tons. Not a whole lot. I think our hatches are dying in here because it's so damn cold. Let's finish off what I was doing here. <clears throat> We're gonna get liquid vent here, get that water pouring in. But first, huh, better seal it up. And then, we just want fresh water up there. So we can split here. degree water. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, let's uh... 
Where's that guy gonna end up? Up here. Let's get him. And let's stop incubating them. <laughs> Do a sage hatching in there instead. Oh, and they're dying. I think I forgot to feed them. I could have sworn I selected that there. Hmm. Shovel. We don't want to feed them all the time. Regolith. Okay, how are we doing? That's sealed up. Got hot water going in. If the temperature is below 20... Three. We'll heat that up. Food continues to climb, but we'll we'll put a dent in that eventually. I'm not sure why our food didn't make it its way up here. Edible. Priority nine. Yeah, we got all this food stuck here. Fried mushrooms. This should end up here. Fried mushroom, priority nine. Well, at least it's getting the stuff off the grill. Oh, allow manual use. Aha. <laughs> hmm. Well, there's no harm at being here, I guess. Unrefrigerated sterile atmosphere. Let's stick it up here, though. If I allow manual use, they'll put it in there, it'll drop off there, and then they'll put it back in here, which I don't want. Oh, sweep only. Problem solved. Okay, all the food should end up there. Priority 9 is probably a bit crazy. Let's bring that down to an 8. Okay, we got the hot water tank going. We'll have to build a loop through the floor here. Probably granite is good enough. Party four, not super important. And let's go. Like this. I have to bring it back as well. <laughs> That one will do in the air. And hopefully it doesn't freeze solid by the time it gets back here. It probably will. Well, we're going to make an infinite loop eventually, but for now we'll vent it back in. We're reheating. Actually, I'm an idiot. This has to go through the water. 
uh, problem with radiant pipe. And hmm. It'll be two levels, so we'll do that and then like that. Now that is a radiator. Maybe we don't go too crazy and just try to heat up three floors first. Yeah, we'll try to heat this up first and then extend the radiator to this last section. Okay, but I've gone over time here, so we're gonna wrap things up here, I think. Slow it down, wrap it up. How many dupes do we have now? 17, we're gonna aim for 20, like I said. See how things level out in terms of calorie generation. Uh, with hatch farms, we can go a pretty, pretty long way. Hatch plus shovels. Uh, we can, well, with shovels, in theory, we can have infinite renewable food because the regolith keeps falling. And hatches, um, there's enough igneous rock and various minerals to feed them for a very, very long time. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how far we're going to go with this base. Um, I forgot to hook this up. Let's do that next episode. This water tank is getting very full. <laughs> We might build a uh, slickster farm next time, just to keep them very happy. And get a pump to get this water up top. Or maybe we'll use it someday for cooling, because it's so cold. That's a pretty little rainbow we got there. Full gradient. Anyway, let's wrap it. What's this hatch doing here? We'll wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, a little bit uh, random. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.